year begins, Chicago police tell us crime dropped in 2018. They tell us the city has had an 8% drop in criminal complaints and 100 fewer murders than the previous year. But as CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli reports, not all neighborhoods are experiencing those successes. To battle crime, Chicago police have worked to strengthen community partnerships, invest in data-driven policing, and they're quick to point to statistical successes. Travel to the 25th Police District, home to neighborhoods like Hermosa and Hanson Park. It leads the city with a 23% drop in crime reports to 2,759 cases. The regulars at Tegrillo's Barbershop take note. Everybody was saying, oh, around here, it was good. It was getting better a lot. In the district, shooting incidents alone this past year are down 36% to 107 reported cases. What do you notice? What kind of crime? Do you know about the lady who, uh, who got killed? He's talking about the murder last fall of 21-year-old Myra Coronal, shot twice in the head while trick-or-treating with family. A single incident challenging any sense of calm. It stands vacant now, but a year ago, this mobile phone store was the scene of a shootout where an armed owner defended those inside during a robbery at gunpoint. It's located in the West Side's 11th district, struggling with violence. Here, crime is up 5% to a troubling 3,553 cases. This year registered 70 murders, a 3% increase. I've been here for 14 years. Though his family closed the mobile phone store, Basil Ajaj still runs the food market at the other end of the block. It used to be more stores in the area, but uh, they closed down. He sits behind a bulletproof glass decorated with pictures of customers' children. All thankful he remains in spite of challenges. They've been telling me, like, uh, uh, I don't know what are we going to do if you're not in this block or this corner. Now, in spite of some increases in crime, the 11th district is among the four top districts when it comes to the seizure of illegal guns. Citywide, that stands at 9,500 guns, and that's a 9% increase over the previous year. In the control room, Vince Girasoli, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Vince.